Communicating with introverts is undoubtedly challenging, yet crucial to fostering a positive work environment. Introverts have unique communication preferences, and knowing how to interact with them will increase productivity and teamwork in your organization. So today we'll explore my top tips for communicating effectively with introverts in your workspace. If you're new here, my name is Michael and I'm a higher education leader that is based in Los Angeles, California, and I hold my doctorate in organizational leadership. So my tip number one for dealing with introverts and communicating with them effectively is to respect their need for space. Introverts really need time to decompress and work on their own as much as possible to be effective in the workplace. And because of that, they most often work better in quiet environments. So bombarding them with constant conversation or impromptu meetings really is going to decrease their overall level of efficiency for you at work. So rather than interrupting them throughout the day, schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings with them and give them time in an individual space to share their voice and their concern about issues going on in your workspace. They may not feel as comfortable in the group setting to share their thoughts. So it's really important for you to give them that space to be able to share their ideas with you as well. And just from a personal perspective, I too am an introvert and I find this to be very true. I find that whenever I'm working in a quieter environment where I don't have a lot of interruptions that I'm able to work more productively. So when you're hiring introvert employees, you need to be mindful of this and really give them the space that they need so that they could thrive in your environment. My tip number two is to make sure you're listening actively. So this really means giving your full attention, making sure you're giving eye contact and making sure you're nodding to your introvert employees when you are conversing with them so that they know that you're engaged in the discussion and that you're having meaning in terms of interacting with them. And you really want to avoid finishing their sentences or talking over them when you're having a discussion with your introvert employees. Introverts often need time to reflect and think before they speak. And so by interrupting them, you may disrupt their flow and you may completely throw them off that they won't be able to engage with you in a productive manner. And from my experience, I too have observed this where I am in group settings or even just having a one-on-one -on -one with my supervisor and they come at me in a very aggressive manner trying to get an answer out of me when I just need some time to think. So it's really important for you as a leader to be able to enhance your active listening skills and take time for your introverts to speak and think through their thoughts thoroughly. My tip number three is to use written communication versus oral communication. Things like email and instant messaging can be very effective ways to communicate with introverts because it gives them space. It gives them time to think about the response before they do respond. And another thing you might want to consider is if you're going to have a meeting, sending out an agenda ahead of time will really be beneficial for introverts to really think through their thoughts so that when they come to that meeting, they are prepared and they're able to communicate effectively with everybody. And from my personal experience, I could too tell you that Having the space to actually sit and read an email and then put it away for a brief moment of time and come back to it after I consider all the possible alternatives and solutions that I might have to the questions in the email, it really empowers me and gives me the opportunity to share what I think will move the organization forward when we're dealing with a particular situation. However, on the flip side, if I'm bombarded with an answer and somebody needs an answer right away and they're coming to my office and they're really heated, I can often shut down and it doesn't allow me that space. So you really wanna think about that in the way of oral versus written communication. I hope you're enjoying this video and I would love it if you would subscribe and also be sure to check out the description of my video. There you will find a link to download a free PDF resource that will help you navigate generational differences in your workplace. My tip number four is to provide feedback to introvert employees in a private manner. Now it's really important to give feedback constructively to all of your employees through performance reviews and then just general check-ins. However, Introverts may feel embarrassed if you do give feedback to them in an open setting or in a group setting around others. So it's really important to make space and take time for one-on-one -on -one meetings to give that feedback to them directly. If you do this, it will really open up space for them to feel safe and also give their thoughts on the feedback that you're giving to them. 
Now, from a personal perspective, I very much thrive in an environment where I am able to speak one on one with individuals in any situation, whether it is at work or at home, because I am an introvert. So this really hits home with me, knowing that if my boss pulls me aside, speaks with me one on one, that's going to be much more effective to me dealing with criticisms or dealing with performance matters than if I heard it in a group setting. And my tip number five is make sure you're fostering team inclusive environments. And this really means respecting the communication styles of all employees, including introverts. Now we live in a world that's dominated by extroverted and loud personalities, but we really want to make sure that we're rewarding and letting our introvert employees shine through and making sure that they know they're valued in the organization. And again, from a personal perspective, I really make sure I do this with my introvert employees. I know I have some on my team that are more shy, more quiet, but I make sure that I show ways of appreciation to them for really having a mindset where they're thoughtful and they're very deliberative in the way they think about things and to let them know that that is really enhancing and bringing the organization to a next level. Now, another major issue facing leaders today is truly embracing diversity. So be sure and check out my other video here where you will find my five practices for ensuring that diversity is seen as a priority within your organization. That is all for this week, everybody. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.